Okay, I got a lot of people been asking me about batteries, about graphite batteries, graphene batteries. Um, I'm gonna just basically go over the components. I'm not gonna put one together in front of the camera, cause you can, okay? All right, now this little, start with one of these batteries, uh, pie plate baking tin from grocery store and some some kind of I guess this is PEX pipe CPVC use a shark bite connector on it you cut this up into sheets pull that electrode out the graphite electrode there's actually a graphite core in that that's big enough to slide into this pipe is uh, three eighths, I think. You use a little pair of channel locks or a pair of pliers, but be careful because it's brittle. And when you pull it out, you have to get it out in one piece. You take it and you put your separator around it. In this case, I'm going to use some powdered powdered graphite that uh, I blended with distilled water and strained. I'm going to use some powdered graphite on my separator, which is probably going to be this coffee filter. I'm going to wrap, cut this to fit it around this electrode. Cut this to fit it around the separator. Shove it in here. And then I'm going to use beach water for the electrolyte. So, all said and done, this whole battery, um, aside from the tools, it probably run you about five bucks. You gotta buy a pen pie plate, which is a dollar. I like to get the one that's smooth. Uh, and then you got your three to five dollar batteries. And when you cut these, cut the sides of it off right here. And there's four of these, four of these electrodes in there. And you gotta pull that out. And sometimes there'll be some glue paste on it. You might have to scrape that off. But scrape that off and get the graphite where it's just pure graphite. Wrap the separator around it. Wrap the aluminum around it. Put it in this. Might have to put a little pressure behind it, but it'll fit tight. And set this, all this one piece, in your salt water or urea solution, or uh, some people even use uh, sulfur solution. But I found beach water will hold a volt for a month, so I would definitely try salt water. Salt water is a good deal. Good deal. Well, there it is. I got some graphene water I've blended up. That stuff ought to get some good capacitance going. Along with the beach water and the electrodes. <coughs> well, thanks for your time.